she is snug in her covers about to sleep. Dad! Daddy! I'm in bed now! That's great, hon. Did you brush your teeth? Yes, Daddy. Okay, well, turn off the lights and go to sleep now. You have to get up early tomorrow. Daddy! Yes, dear? Can you tell me a story? Well... Please? Okay, let's see. Here's one. The father picks up the guitar and starts to sing. I'll tell you a story that you never heard. Twist and surprises. It's amazing. A tale of a boy and a girl in love. Romance and action. It's amazing. It's amazing. Entertaining. It's amazing. Entertaining. 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 And amazing. 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 So amazing. Amazing, 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 so amazing, entertaining, entertaining, and amazing, 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 so amazing, 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 amazing. So Once upon a beginning, a long time ago, the mother of a boy named Jack became confused because she did not understand why she had no name. That night, she invaded the publicist's house to find out about the nature of what is to become of her future. as a strong character that I am. If it was not for me, you would not even be here, and the other characters would not have a person to conflict with. I will change the ones that get all the glory of this story and have my name in the book where it should have been from the start. Not long after, the publicist has learned of an invasion. She has learned that the mother was not alone in this intrusion. What? Who? How? Why would that little wooden boy want to change his path? Only the one who has chosen the wrong course can dare into my chambers. Why would he not want the life I had written for him? He had only joy and happiness amongst his family. Why would he want this other life? Hmm. The more they choose to delay, the writings shall change their fate. Not happy with the plot set for her, Mother has set out to take the place she deserves with the help of her son and the mice. We're going to be discovered doing this. Relax, son. Everything will be handled. You don't understand. I've just seen the giant walking out of the public place of dwelling. He doesn't know anything. I suppose he does. We will have to make sure no one else finds out what we did. Here's what we'll do. 
We will go about our business. You will go get the magic beans and the golden juice from the dweller. And I will spread word around the city that there is a dangerous killer loose that eats Englishmen. Surely no one will leave their homes. Down all of the pages without a name Crossed out, can't even place me, I want some fame I, I'm just a symbolic status girl Wanna be a center of attention now I want the world to know I am here Get a name that they'll remember Can't be the one that they push behind above I'll be the one with a the name they'll have to love I, I won't be just another status girl Wanna be the center of attention now I want the world to know I am here Get a name that they'll remember I, I won't be just another status girl Wanna be the center of attention now I want the world to know I am here Get a name that they'll remember I, I won't be just another status girl Wanna be the center of attention Center of attention Center of attention Center of attention Ooh, yeah There were others who would gain that spotlight and others who hated those results Hosts! What are you doing to me? What do you speak of? I am a giant, strong, but I cannot climb. That is not supposed to be. That is not what I have written. Well, it is happening anyway, and I'm a laughing stock amongst all the people in the village. Well, I guess this would explain the mess within my chambers. That may be. But what can we do about me? Well, I'd have to look into the book in order to find out exactly who changed the writings. And then, how I'll get you to climb. Well, you have a publicist? Do it. Please. I will see. Well, let's see. Big green giant, big ugly thing. Oh, yep. Yeah. Bigger, giant, and I'll tell you that ugly. story. Hmm. As I heard the book before me, you are being written out of the pages. Does that mean I will fade out? Well, it is a possibility. Unless you are able to figure out exactly who changed the writings. Well, who's changing the writings? Well, well. I think we both know who. Jack and his mother? Yes, I believe so. I think he picked it right on the spot. Now we would have to see. We have to find a way to discover the fact that they're murderers. Wait. Murderers? They're not murderers, are they? Who would they kill? Well, actually, they're not murderers yet. What do you mean yet? You're not making any sense. Well, she would have to, you know, kill you in order to be discovered. You mean Pinocchio, right? No. I'm not going to die to prove that Jack and his mother are murderers. What am I, some kind of sacrifice? No. No, no, I don't want, I refuse that, no. You've heard my words exactly. And yes, it's the only way. It's the only way, and you hear my words. I'm the giant, I'm not going to die to prove that Jack and his mother are murderers. Listen, I'm the publicist. I'm the one who writes 
write some stories. Exactly. I write you a new life. You're the publicist. Write a new life now, so I can skip the dying part. I Do it. But only because the village must know the truth. You better write me a new life. It will. What are you trying to do? Create your own style? You look utterly ridiculous. What's wrong with my attire? Please, return to your classes and learn to dress more appropriately. I like the way I look. You wear the rags of a dog, and your hair is as naughty as sheep's wool. Right of your tongue, for you're not the one I choose to marry. Please, it's for both of our sakes, make a change. I shall leave your sight and search for another prince. Be your written as one. You cannot change what is to become. I'm not arranged to marry you. I choose Then leaves Rapunzel's presence and searches for a lady more to his liking. Hmm. Now, students, this is the perfect example of why we have this class. You didn't even give me a chance to sit down. Ah, <sighs> you're a prime example of someone who needs to recover the beauty that you once had. Are you giving away the insult? If the shoe fits. I resent that comment. I can still get a fellow villager to ask me to the ball. Not with, not with that look, Rapunzel. In fact, if you don't change your appearance, your name will be forgotten. Can't they accept me for who I am? Yeah, you keep dreaming. I am not a dreamer. What I speak is true.
like to be our new volunteers? What do you mean? Do you wish to steam or perhaps a wash of the hair? I don't mind the wash. Wash away. Rapunzel wakens, but where she has laid her head is not of the same place. Who am I kidding? This hair is unmatchable. I must find out school how to fix myself. I rather like this look. In fact, it will make it more harder for the prince to come and save you. What do you mean, save me? I am no need of rescue. Have you looked out the window lately? I look at my window each morning. It's the same. No, this morning is different. The grass no longer grows to the length of your knees. <gasps> this is not the one I look out each morning, for the grass has not yet reached my toes. For height that is beyond its reach. Where's this place you have put me? In the tower of many bricks, surely no prince will find me to marry. And the hair that covers my face has truly hidden my face for anyone to see. I'll become nothing in this prison. Unable to escape, Rapunzel cries a sad song. Living in this tower all alone, snatched away from family. My home It's not a place I would wish for thee. It's not a place of comfort to me. Trapped in this place makes me reflect on what I've done and all the rest. I was hoping I did no wrong. I was hoping someone would come. I was hoping someone would call. And if I fall, will they come at all? Flynn later encounters Charming, knowing of his destiny. Good thing he moved on, isn't it? So you're the one they call Prince Charming. You're the one that gets the girl. What battle do you speak? She will not groom herself for my love. You don't deserve a princess if you're not a warrior as I am. But she and I will be one. Not this sunrise. Draw your sword! I say, fellow villager, I anger not to battle. You have no choice. On guard!
in the end, you'll see that <laughs> your energy has been wasted on me because Zero we love me. What is this? Um, whose house am I in? Yeah, my grandmother's house. Okay. What are they doing? That thing with the great big nose, eyes and teeth was trying to fool me into thinking it was my grandmother. <laughs> Surely that does not look like your grandmother. She was wearing her robe and her hat and thought I wouldn't know the difference. Okay, now I can see why you would be confused. Surely you must be kidding. You really think I would have been fooled by clothing? He has a great big nose. My grandma's nose isn't even close to that size. Okay. So, how did they catch him? They don't look alike. And I was able to, to sneak out and tell the law. Okay, so last question. When you ran out of the house, what did you do with me? Oh, well, about that. I needed something to distract the wolf with. Okay, so that would explain the ripped clothing, the blood spewing, spewing from my limbs. And after all that, I thought it was just a dream. I feel my necessities bad, but besides that, how was the wounds from the one you fought? <sighs> Compared to all the wolf bites around my body, I feel nothing. Good, now leave. Guesses are coming by midday, and I don't want them thinking I'm housing a man of rags. So wait, you're just gonna throw me out? Your wound has healed. Get out! Don't you have a princess to wed? You're right, but can I at least take five minutes to wrap up the revealing cuts? Okay, hurry it up and get out. Okay, thank you.
Before rescuing Rapunzel, Giant passes two young children who have spotted a wooden boy. Father used to make my dog out of wood, but I never seen him make one out of make one that looks like a boy. How is it? How is it that he's talking? I see it too. How, and how is it that it moves? Why don't we ask it? Do you not know who I am? No. Why do you not fear me? Why should we fear a stub of wood? I am Pinocchio, the ruler of these trees. No, you're not. We heard you telling the man not to tell the man in the petal. And you told him where the location is. So therefore you is no ruler. You heard no such thing. Uh-huh, yes we did. Why would you lie to us? I do not lie. I tell these trees not to grow. You do lie. You have no such power. I, I tell the truth. Why is his nose extending? Oh, it is nothing. It's still growing. Oh, it is nothing. Just go about your way. Every time you say something, his nose grows. Go away! We are still puzzled as to how you can walk and talk without any strings. Puzzled, you will say. Or, for you will never know. Is Geppetto the one behind this? Is he the one that makes you walk and talk as you do? No, no one is. I speak myself. Another lie. Look, an ocean. Maybe we should throw him in. Perhaps he will tell the truth. You stay back. If you kill us, you will have more blood on your hands, and our parents will come searching for you. You are right. I am no ruler. I am worthless. And Geppetto hasn't searched for me since. I do not want to be thrown into the ocean to be swallowed by a whale, but perhaps it would be better anyway because no one likes me. I do nothing but tell stories to get people to like me, but all it does is just push people away. Perhaps I should, shall just be thrown into the sea, and I'll blow as the wind does. What? No! Why did he do that? But all I wanted was for him to speak the truth. I did not mean for him to jump. Are we bad? Shouldn't we have said that? I don't know, but I think we should get some help. Hansel and Gretel run for help as Giant walks unknowingly towards Rapunzel's tower. Wow! I've not seen one as tall as the man is approaching. Why is this happening to me? Why can't I cry? Why do you cry, man of great size? Who is it that hears my tears? Why do you speak to me but in fear you are not? Should I be in fear? I am a giant. All the villagers fear me. Why is that so? Because of my size. And perhaps I may have eaten an Englishman or two. But there was good reason for that. One was trying to steal my golden too when I was asleep. And the other was trying to steal a taste of my cream. I accidentally scooped him up. As one would scoop ice cream, I chopped him down accidentally. Honestly, I didn't mean to eat him. I was not ready for an Englishman to enter my home. Yes. I can see why you're sad. You want friends. I will be your friend. That's nice. But there's no point to that now. Why? Because I have to go up to Beanstalk and chase Jack until I die. What? Why? That's stupid! The publisher said it's the only way to catch Jack and his mother. But I do not believe it will happen. The villagers will never believe me. They all think I'm bad. Or if I do not die, then Jack and his mother will get away with being bad guys. And no one will even root for the giant for bad reputation. The villagers will only want to see me dead. That's some big feat you must take. Something I do not look forward to. One should never go for such despair. Will you help me? I need at least one voice to tell the people. I can, but not if I'm stuck in this tower. I can change that. Jump and be free. I'll catch you. My hero. That wasn't so bad, was it? Depressed. Geppetto's fairy mother comes to his comfort. Geppetto, why are you all the first time? 
Pinocchio has run away. I am not a good father. You are a good father. All you can do is let him know. Show him that you love him. He is not my son. My son is gone. He could never be there. He can. And he loves you too. All you have to do is show him. You mean? Yes. Let him know that you love him. And he'll be your real son. Charming has recovered, yet Finn is not satisfied as Charming stands before him once again. So, we meet again. I see that my sword is not taken. I'll try it with my fists. A challenge you want, a challenge you'll get. You rise by the sword, but you fall by the fist. Thank you. I know I said it would help, and that I would. But first I must get as far away from here as possible. But... Go ahead with your plans. The villagers will be on your side. Did you not hear me before? I have to die. Do you even know what that means? Yes. But it's for a good cause. Huh? Mother, mother! Pardon me? Are you the mother who bore me into this world? Well, I do remember having a child with long, fair hair as yours. Then we are a family and you must come with me to another place. Why? Yes? Because witch, I mean Mother Gothel, is coming to kill you and my brothers and sisters. We might, we almost escaped to be safe. But that isn't true. We have done no wrong. To her, I'm too beautiful. I do not see it. And because of this, I did not allow her to climb up my hair and cut off her own head. Now she is about to kill you all. My dear, maybe you are a little overwhelmed from the journey, and your words are all tangled. You have taught me never to lie. Why should I do so now for I've not seen your face for a long period of time?
Jack has returned to his mother's side with a message. But mother, I took these things from the giant. Maybe that's why they angered him. No, he only kills out of spite. And he's close by now. And if we do not act now, he'll kill us both. But mother. If you disobey orders, punishment shall be set forth. Yes, mother. to believe I was an only child? And look, you turned out okay. But a brother and a sister would have been better than a rock. She's a bad mother! Him, I would bring him back, but it is by your kiss and your kiss alone that will cause it to happen. Do 
if I have to kiss the lips, though I think they're way too No, warm. the cheek will do just fine. Well? Be patient, my child. She was a bad mother. You selfish brat, you could have shared a piece. I surely had an adventure of their own. The story of the three pigs is the middle of where they really began. Would you like to hear of their beginning? Excuse me. Is this ready? Yeah. Yeah. By the way, who are these two new students here? Um, no worries. Go do your breathing exercises. What are you two doing here? I didn't think. You didn't think? I'm here for actually long each other. Okay, they seem to be in a hobby. There are wolves inside. They're in there practicing. Why are we doing this again? Because if you mass is going down the houses, then you two will be living with me. And I'd rather that not be. I like my privacy. What would be so bad about moving in with you? You two look like pigs. We're all pigs. Well, I prefer the more civilized way. 
and that will be you two not being in my house. We're never gonna get away with this. Just wait and stay calm. And you three are? Transfer students from architect class, ma'am. Remember your instructor's name? Sir Derman. Ah, I remember. Give me my green exercise I'm seeing. Yes, ma'am. Um, right now we're just working on our breathing exercises. Um, you and you stay here. I'll come to you later. And you, the short one. Uh, beg your pardon? Is uh, that a problem? Uh, just go. And this will be your partner. Uh, good day. How are you? Fine. Um, how long have you been at this? About 16 hours. Class, we have to begin now. Really? Yes, uh, I just have to do a practice examination with the others I just flew down, and then oh. I'll graduate. Well, that sounds good. Pardon me. Yes? How many did you kill on your way here? Oh, haha. <laughs> yes, I uh, killed three on the way here. I'm sure you killed a pig before you arrived here because the smell of pig is so fresh. So how are we able to do it? My sister, help me out. Just smile and wave, just smile and wave. Hey. hey, that was a great class. Would you think you could get a diploma instead of a leaflet this time? Yeah, I'm pretty sure to make it a top class. Hey, look, look I'll see you at the cave. But there's lions and tigers and bears out there. And you're a wolf. You can handle that. No, no, I'm not. Well, I'm a human. You just raised me to be a wolf. Really? So what's this? Oh, uh, that's my hair. Do you need glasses, sir? Oh, no. There's something in my eye. You know, I I'll meet you back at the cave. There are pigs, you idiot. <sighs> Finally, it's over. I can't breathe with this thing. Did you figure out a plan yet? You come back tonight and lose it, though. He's, hey, he's right behind us. Hey, guys. Do you think you could teach me a new wolf catching trick? Um, I may be able to fit you in my schedule. Uh, do you know where the square root forest is? Yeah, I've been there a couple times. Meet you there by midnight, and then we'll start our lesson. Okay, I'll see you then. What are you nuts? You're gonna train him to kill us? Mama said bacon was a bad, bad wish. No, no, stop. I'm, I'm not gonna let him kill us. I'm going to train him to think that he's going to kill us. Wait, I'm confused. You're going to mislead him away from us. Oh, so we can get back into class and make sure he doesn't graduate. I can help. Who are you? The wolf took me prisoner and forced me to be a child. I just want to go home. Sorry, kid. Wrong story. The wizard in Kansas. I'm serious. You help me, I help you. Hmm. You're on. She set us up. She'll be here. You trust her and we only knew her for like two minutes? I have this gut feeling about her. Maybe it's a trap. Humans eat pig too, you know. Maybe she's a vegetarian. A vegetarian? what? A vegetarian. Where do you come up with these things? Well, I heard it from a pig who knew a pig that I heard it from a cat who told him that humans talk about it that the woods are up and east. Hmm? You're supposed to believe what he says? Hey, it could be true. Enough. We know. Could you just do this, please? The door around back is open, and that's what we're going to do. Hey, Mama. Hey, we're going to just take this back to the size of the box. Apple. They put this in big mouth to roast them. I want them to think they're easy to bake. Huh? Easy to bake. Oh, I get it. Wait a minute. You're going to this jack so we can get inside. Wait, how long do I have to run again? About three hours. That's your genius plan? Unless you have a better one. You go distract them. We'll go inside and do the work. They don't eat humans. Okay, that's a lot of work, but okay.
She took care of the gardens. Yeah, yeah, keep going. There's a room up ahead. We're wasting time. Where is the screwdriver? Top left drawer. Oh, girl. 